Yeah. No, no, Jess, Jess, I need you. Daddy likes it deep! Jesus, Tori! Hey, I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is Will, and together we are Top Jaw. When we first started doing our tours around the world, we always wanted to come to New York. It's taken us three years, but we are now here in NYC, and it has been the trip of a goddamn lifetime. We have been to high-end restaurants, holes in the wall. We've been to little cocktail bars, speakeasies, sun, rain, everything. This film has the lot. So let's get stuck into it at the Ludlow Hotel where we're staying, where we're loving. Now keep your delicious peoples peeled for our brand new coffee machines, coffee grinders. Oh. I didn't know the table was right there. For our brand new collaboration Stubble & Co rucksacks. First comment wins. <laughs> Stop of the day, bro. Numero uno, out of the hotel, two doors down. This little coffee spot we've been hitting up every day since we've been here. New York coffee, roasted in Brooklyn, served here in Manhattan. How many have you had since you've been here? Uh, six. Six. Sweet. This is a cool, casual coffee spot, good workplace, lots of people reading in here. It's that proper New York like film vibe, you know? And us with a big old camera. Time for brunch, baby. Oh, yeah. We're in West Village for Dante. This place has been here since 1915. This neighborhood was a very Italian neighborhood. Since then, it's had a very exciting life. It won world's best bar in 2019. And when you see inside, it's not exactly what you'd imagine the world's best bar would look like. It's not a dark, streamlined cocktail bar. No, no. Very welcome, isn't it? And it's exactly the sort of place you bring someone that you love. Oh, I get it. Yeah? You love me. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't take someone here to dump them. That's way, way too romantic for that. Cocktails for brunch, is it, bro? So we've got a partly drunk spicy fresca. Uh, apparently there's one rule for me and not for Will. I'm not allowed to eat or drink anything before it's filmed, but Will has. So this is a mini martini, gin, Vodka, bitters, and an olive. Super aggressive this time of day. But that is delicious. I like that with the lime. Do you remember those things when you were a kid and you'd like pop them one way and you throw them on the floor and they go boom up? It's the baked eggs in Sam Zeno tomatoes and a basil oil on top. It's a bit of all right. I've got a chocolate Negroni. This chocolate bitters, shaved chocolate. Oh God, yeah. It's just like a brilliant Negroni with a little bit of like dark chocolate running through it. I don't think you can come to Dante without having a tiramisu. Oh, that's Washed down pretty nicely with chocolate Negroni, man. So Dante has been superb, honestly, world class. Just finish your fine Negronis, but when in New York, can't not have an absolutely belting burger. That's exactly well what we're about to do. Emily, it's square Detroit style pizza and it's burgers, which some say are the best in New York or the world. We're gonna sit outside in this West Village one. I apologize if I look like a Krispy Kreme donut, but it's pretty humid out here. Oh yeah. You ask a lot of New Yorkers where the best burger is. They might send you to Peter Luger in Brooklyn, we featured in our Brooklyn guy, but lots of people say this place, which is weird, because it's not a burger first place, it's a pizza first place, doing the best burger, casual. This is a banquet of schmelz, I can tell you that. <laughs> this is the Emmy double stack burger. So we have a pretzel bun. I don't know if I've ever had a pretzel bun. The double stack dry aged beef, they had a secret Emmy sauce, which oh. they won't tell me what it is. American cheese, pickles, um, oh, and caramelized onion. Mate, I'm quite nervous. Like, the best burger in New York. Oh, here he goes. 
and eyes. Clothes is a good thing. That's so good. Oh my god, it's good. I can't tell you how frank up this is. How what? what? Frank up. I don't have burgers that often anymore. But if and when I do, I want them all to be like this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Out of frame. Yep. Compose. Dab in the, dab in the forehead. Yeah. Yeah. It's real good, isn't it? Oh, well, bloody crispy. I'm not entirely sure how they did that, but that is none less than a life-changing burger. Emily, well done. Right, that Emily burger is one of the best burgers in New York. In my opinion, it's probably the best. But of course, there are so many other great options, many of which you can find on our curated map in the Step app. And to get exclusive access to that, join our Patreon. Links in the description. Thank you, bless you. We're staying in the Ludlow Hotel on Ludlow Street. Now, this street is amazing. It is probably the best position you can be in when staying in New York. And the hotel itself is gorgeous. It's actually a reasonably new hotel, even though it looks like it's been here for decades with a good old glug of 70s style. You've got this lounge area here with a big old roaring limestone fireplace. And this is warm outside, but hey, how cozy is this? And incredible rooms with big critical windows giving views out to Soho and beyond. Let's go check them out, mate. Let's. Welcome to my queen studio room. Big comfy bed, TV on the wall, beautiful critical window with that view. We're 13 stories up in this room, but it's cozy as hell with its exposed beams and its rich, sumptuous wood. Oh, you look comfy there, bro. Oh, you bet your boots I'm comfy. Shoes off, mate, on the bed, please. You ain't my dad. Really flattering angle, this one. <laughs> Take a look at my shower room, okay? We have bath mat and bath robes by Maison Magella. Mm. Awesome. Check out this shower with marble mosaic floor. Ooh, where am I? Where am I? We're in the shower. In the shower. Who have we got here, mate? This is my lovely girlfriend, Miss Lamb. Just having a drink in, I'm going to call this the conservatory of the Ludlow Hotel. We're really liking it here, I will. Yeah. <laughs> the audio doesn't get my ears, so. <laughs> Woo! Next up, we had to feature the best bagels in New York. You come to New York, you get a bagel. And where else are we going to do that? Tompkins Square Bagels. And it's very rainy. Yes, yeah, that's why I'm doing the intro to this from this door. Oh, I'm so sorry. No worries. This is um, Timothy Chamolet's favourite bagel place in New York, so it's good enough for him. It's good enough for us. He's speaking to Philippe, the manager, working out what to have. And he said, do you want the Weezer? Wearing a t-shirt with the Weezer on it. He was like, this is the best breakfast bagel you'll ever have in your life. Bacon, chorizo, egg, cheese, cream cheese. That is great. Why can't we do this in the UK? No one's making bagels like that anywhere. I can get it. That is fantastic. This is the Lox Deluxe smoked salmon, tomato, cream cheese, capers, cream cheese, and scallion. This is another classic. Get in there, bro. Let me tell you two things about Tompkins Square bagels, right? One, they're messy. But two, they are absolutely amazing. It's the best bagels I've ever had in my life. Okay? Yeah. All right, Will. Now for something sweet. We're at Ray's Candy Store. This place has been since 1974, and it's an institution of the East Village. Ray's Candy Store is kind of every big kid's dream. You've got fried Twinkies, Oreos, Reese's Pieces, but they're an ice cream shop. Thank you very much, Ray. Ice cream We've gone for a hot fudge sundae, nice and simple, soft serve ice cream with loads of hot fudge. This guy, Ray, yeah, that I'm talking to, is fascinating. He's about to turn 90 years old. He still works here every single day. He is originally from Iran, he's Iranian. He joined the Navy. 
because his job making materials was paying him between 70 and 80 cents a week. During his time in the Navy, he was on board ship, the ship traveling around the world, pulls into Virginia in America, he'd never been before, and he just saw it and was like, this is it, this is me, I'm out. Just jumped off ship and has been in America ever since. A little deep fried Oreo, it sounds brilliant. Yeah, yeah, great. yeah. I think I've never had a deep fried Oreo. I mean, this might be my only opportunity. Where yeah. are you going, bro? I was going around. <laughs> Jess! Where are you going? I'm going outside. Jess! Hello. <laughs> Ray's famous fried Oreos. Yeah. Bro, these are really good. The Oreo is like not a hard Oreo anymore. It's just a gooey, chocolate, sticky thing. It used to be open 24 hours and Ray used to lie down here in this galley and have little naps and we'd be walking and get up. But now he's 90 years old, so he just closes at 4 a.m. and opens again at 10 a.m. Tori, would you like one of Ray's Go on, Tori, Oreos? Get stuck in. Ray, this is my girlfriend, Tori. It's really yeah. good, isn't it? Keep it's really good. Yeah. So there's fried Oreos. You can sell a hundred of those portions a day. It's just a remarkable human being. It's awesome. Oh, I see. So it's like the... <laughs> <What is> it? <laughs> uh, BBC World Service. I think it's like a news line. You can call it and just play the news. He's listening to it now, I think. The fried Oreos, brilliant. But the best thing about that place is Ray, and he's there every day. So go in, see him, have a chat, and he'll give you one of his extremely interesting stories. Thank you. They are here, our brand new Top Jaw Travel Rucksack. And we're so excited to be collaborating with the heroes Stubble & Co, the London-based premium minimal bag maker to produce a bag perfect for whether you're traveling to the studio or the other side of the world. Designed for all weather conditions, the top jaw roll top is durable, lightweight, exceptionally comfortable, and made from recycled materials. All zips are water resistant, so you don't have to worry about your precious items when you're getting 100% shat on. And flip it round, and in the back you have a dedicated separate section for your laptop, meaning your sweaty gym kit and your laptop don't have to get all cosy together. Expandable side sections for your water, or of course your parallels. Inside we've got a bright lining. But one of my favourite things about this bag is the way it closes. It's one of your favourite things, mate. With the magnetic clasp, you pinch, roll, hook, and you're off. Complete with all our top drawer touches, we absolutely love this thing, and we think you will too. It's just, it's just the best rucksack ever, and it's now available on topjaw.co.uk. We come slightly uptown. We're on 29th and Broadway for Swingers. Top Door Head was seen as features place in London. It's one of our faves. This place opened about two months ago. It's been a real hit, which we're really pleased to see. But we'll let's go try the course out for ourselves, you know, because we'll be the judge. Yeah! Whoa! This is on another blimmin' scale. Following the success of the two London sites that we absolutely love, the open one in Washington, and now this one in New York, and this is massive. Jesus, Tory! 23,000 square feet, three courses, six bars, it's vast. They have a selection of brilliant New York food vendors through there in a little mini food court, so here you could be playing crazy golf, getting a cocktail, and having some beautiful Iranian food, for example. It's a loop-de-loop! Oh no! Oh my god! Three v one. What's it gonna be? It's Subscribe to Top Jaw, baby. Don't know whether I'm winning this one. Probably not. However, am I having a good time? Yes. 
And hey, this is bigger and better than the one in London, Will. What happens if it goes behind the bin and it falls? We are arriving at the wonderful Hawksmoor. This place is a brilliant steak restaurant, but it has an incredible bar. Hawksmoor is reasonably new to New York. It's just about to celebrate its first year anniversary. This is their cocktail bar, and it is big, and it is beautiful, and we're loving it. I've got a Macamora hat with Meg's Mark bourbon, peach jasmine soda, Ice game on point, look at that. Let me introduce you to Hawksmoor Sour Cherry Negroni. Oh, Forge Gin, Rubino Martini, Sour Cherry and Campari, and that is gorgeous. This is the old Charities Assembly Hall, built in 1893 by a local Teddy Roosevelt even had an office here. There's a lioness on the back bar there because someone, as a gift, delivered him a real life lion. You ain't the only lioness here, Riri. Once upon a time. Toy Story 4! Oh, that was good actually. Thanks. <laughs> Once upon a time, Kate Moss walked into a bar and Ouch. she was. <laughs> she walked into a bar and she said to the bartender, Can you make me something that's going to keep me really awake but also a little bit? And he was like, I don't know what to do. And then he was pressing my team was quick. And now you can literally get them in like all bar one in Skegness. Do you know what I mean? Oh my god, it's so nice. Oh, it is good. You rarely see a dining room as elegant, as opulent as this. And the old light fixtures they're not currently using were actually installed by Thomas Edison himself. What? Okay, I love that. Ouch. Continuing our love affair with the Lower East Side, we've come around the corner to Fool's Gold. This place is craft beer, cocktails and food, named Fool's Gold because of their love of the stone roses. And the fuss and the... <laughs> the Stone Roses fans amongst you might recognise the paint job on the front. Like a certain album cover, way over my head, but hey, the Roses fans will know. We've got sporting screens, we've got so many beer taps you cannot get your way through. Monday night, by the way, if you're wondering what's going on behind me, um, a bunch of people bring some board games and play really intense games of board games. Big love Sam, which is me in the middle. Tori's had an emotion that she's loved. Roger's a legend. Just had a shot with him. Cheers. Now we have to go off to dinner. Roger. Yeah. Alrighty then. We are prepped and ready. And Will, this is one of those rare occurrences on top jaw when I'm actually hungry. <gasps> this is Crown Shy, a Michelin star restaurant in the financial district of New York, right at the base of the peninsula. We have chef de cuisine, James Kent at the helm, X11 Madison and Nomad. Now he's here with that beautiful Michelin star. This cocktail right here I've just had a taste of is one of my favorite cocktails. I mean, that's amazing. It is a Malona milk punch. In here I've got vodka, honey juice, sticky rice, coconut, and clarified milk. Obviously everything is made clear, everything is a process. Go on, Tori, what you got? I've got something with brown sugar in it. <laughs> <laughs> this is their pull apart olive bread. And how they make it is they make individual dough balls, squish them all together, and then bake them. And that's why they call it pull apart, because you can basically pull it apart into sections. This is so nice. It's warm and it's lemony. Mm. So these are our zucchini chips, and this is the basil mayo. One of the streets, the people say that basil mayo for the rest of their meal as well. Oh my god, I'm good. Suzanne Perb. It's the citrus chicken served with his little tootsies attacked. Yeah. This place is big on their sauces and big on their flavours, their punchy flavours, not shy. Whoa. This is the Satsuma sorbet with a toasted meringue marshmallow on top. Tangy Satsuma sorbet with like bits through it and that honeycomb just sticking it all together and giving it that real sweet kick. What awesome desserts. You know you're gonna get amazing food at Michelin Star Restaurant. There then comes the other things, the service, the wine of choice, just the ambience and the friendliness. And that has all been absolutely tip top here. I'd recommend it to anybody as a really special place to go. Our films are all about where you're getting a great experience. Some are gonna be super low cost, like Ray's, right? Which is a few dollars. And some are gonna be a few hundred dollars, like Crown Shy. 
but it's all to do with what you should go check out. Spend your time and your money. Bye, 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 bye. Good morning, Will. Good morning, bud. How are you doing? Yeah, good, mate. Big day. So we're just leaving the Ludlow here, a wonderful hotel on the Lower East Side, and we need to find some coffee. Jack, our brilliant editor, has said you have to go to the camera. It's about a 12-minute walk up there. Should we do it, Will? Mind your head. No, I never have to duck. <laughs> <laughs> This place is a Nordic bakery roastery with a few spots in Denmark and this is their first in NYC. The coffee's worth waiting for, the baked goods are amazing. The cardamom bun, I've heard massive things about, so let's go get one. Top jaw, we do like food and travel films around the world. Thank you, ma'am. The cardamom bun, some people just buy them, take them home, put them in the oven, turn it on just to fume their house, I think. That is a cardamom bun and it smells incredible. That was is. Oh wow, you actually grabbed him. So I got you that almond croissant because you have one in Bicyclette. And he Thank said it was the you. best almond croissant you ever had. I mean, the colour. So they call it twice baked. Wow. It's flaky. This is a sweet bun with a rhubarb compote inside. Oh, yeah. Again, with the refined, you know what I mean? Really refined, bud. Really refined. <laughs> it's like a whale blowhole. <laughs> we're about to leave, and then Cole was like, oh, you've got to try our bread and butter. It's like what we're known for. It looks flavoursome. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you, guys. You know why the line's this big? Because these boys are here. New York man. We walked up the road to Joe Jr. Now this place is a bit of an institution. It's been around for a very long time. This is a proper American diner. And there is an underground opinion that this might be the best burger in London. No frills. In where? Oh. That this might be the best burger in New York. Not London. Not London. <laughs> I mean, we've got to go bacon cheeseburger. The Jalux um, bacon cheeseburger. I don't even think I'm going to complicate it with bacon. Uh, a a Jalux cheeseburger. This place has been doing these smash burgers, which are now becoming a real thing for a very long time. Which is maybe longer than we've been alive. I mean, they are working so hard. You know, you see an action film and they're like back to back and they're going, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> yeah. That's what they're like. Just back to back, just flipping fucking eggs. Probably hate each other outside of work. <laughs> Oh, look at the juice. Excuse the uh, jaw dislocation. So all this is like $13. You ain't getting that in many other places in Manhattan. Very true. Mm. Love it. All right, Joe Jr. Very classic American diner experience. It's cheap, it's cheerful. But I think if you're going to go in there expecting to have the best burger in New York, you might be a bit disappointed. So I think if you want a hearty like diner experience. Yeah. But we've got seven more stops for today. So uh, one burger only for me, please. Am I ready for this? These guys have just made me walk 17 miles around Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're here for Whaler, a Thai restaurant. You go down the stairs, we're gonna go through the back where there's an incredible little secret private garden. Get me a pad thai, please. What about a lobster pad thai? <laughs> you start out by asking, what's a light lunch? <laughs> All right, cool, thanks for that information. We're just gonna we'll order a it. heavy lunch. <laughs> Whaler means time. They want people to come here and spend time with friends because in Whaler, all their dishes are family style, sharing dishes. Do you know what cheers is in Thai? It's a good question. Sean! Yeah. Sean! Okay, Sean! <laughs> Lovely. This is the curry pap gai with a curry curry sauce. In here is minced chicken, potato, onions. This is the yum nua yang, beef flank, sliced. This is the mousse sarong. It's like a little pork fried dumpling wrapped in noodles, fried with sweet chili sauce. Wow. Wow. Oh, what do you think it's? 
Oh, that's nice. Wow, it's so fragrant. The seasoning, those Thai spices. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Real chicken, crab meat omelette. Spicy shrimp, the cool king jumbo shrimp. Sentient pad lobster, you're right. Okay? Exactly, so it's also like a it's crab fried rice. Crab fried rice, crab fried awesome. Rice. So this is the fish chili sauce inside. The mostly flavor you get in is the egg and crab. And Hell. To be honest, you know what? I'm fine. I'm not that stuffed. I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Look at it. Over here is a branzino, so like whole fish chopped up, fried in fish sauce. Mm. This is their jumbo king prawn dish. Their spiciest one on the menu. Oh, we've got some cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> They've brought over three cocktails. This one is a simulola, a raisin infused cocktail. Raisin infused. Pandan ice cream with terra jackfruit. This is their mango sticky rice. Yes. Look at it. We've got more pandan ice cream, but we could have happily shared none. A ball. <laughs> All the flavors Places. here have been unreal. Awesome. Come here. Mm. Come here. Oh. Wow, that was... Just a bit too much effort after that amount of food. But I'm now very happy we've experienced it. Whaler. And you need to. Big recommendation. Quick donut pit stop at Doe Donuts. They have a Michelin star pastry chef, Bethany Costello, as the culinary director. A donut pit stop was a creation of Pitt. He really wanted it, so I'm gonna let him go in and do the ordering for us. Hope he doesn't get carried away. Plain glaze, du leche, hibiscus, cream orange. Amazing. Cheers. It's heavy. I think I've got. I think I've gone a little bit too big on donuts. Jesse's not going to be happy, so let's see what he says. <laughs> hey, Jess. Yeah. Have a look at what I went for. <laughs> and, what are you playing at? And I got a freebie. <laughs> Just prepping for the carbs. It's so big. Really dense, heavy, thick. We're gonna have a little quick pit stop in our day of eating in the beautiful Ludlow where we're staying. We've got some beers that were given to us by the brewery Finback. We're gonna have them on that 20th floor roof. I can end it all now! <laughs> okay, before we have our little sundowns up on the roof, we thought we'd come check out the restaurant here at Ludlow, just for a couple of... Ales. Ales. And this is dirty French. We're not gonna eat here right now, but the food is good. It's French food with influences from everywhere that the French Legion touched. I don't know how PC that is, but it, it has does make a very, very good menu. menu. My legs feel like jelly, my hamstrings don't feel right. She stand on this. No, no, Jess, Jess, I licked it. Uh, I mean. <laughs> Come to the roof of the Ludlow Hotel, 20th floor. What a view. I mean, there's nothing in New York that we cannot see. Big night ahead, Saturday night. Na -na 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 I believe in you. I believe in you. Look into my eyes. Stay there. Come on, bro. Go on, nice and deep. Shout at me again. Daddy likes it. <laughs> Daddy likes it deep. <laughs> on the 20th floor of Ludlow Hotel, we actually have a gym. So you can run just like Pix do right now, comfortably. He's finding this so easy whilst it looks like that beautiful New York skyline. Is that it? Burn, burn, burn. Oh. Oh, can I have a chicken burger now? Can 
Okay, we're at Double Chicken Please. This place is predominantly a cocktail bar Love with it. fried chicken sandwiches. Cocktails and fried chicken, yes. The cocktail menu here, they try to recreate food dishes they like in the cocktails. That is cool. This is me. It's not me. This is me trying to be something I'm not, which is cool. So I've got here cold pizza. They try to replicate the flavour of a margarita pizza the morning after. What? This is incredible. Nick's got a Japanese cold noodle. There's a little Alice in Wonderland feel to this, right? Yeah. Flavours you haven't tasted in a cocktail before. It's textured. It's... Wait, that's f***ing... That's like sweet cold noodles. Yeah, it is. This place is really cool. Oh. Bolognese. Steak. You heard? This is the salted egg yolk. This is the hot honey honey. Really? Right, so we've got three new cocktails. This one right here is a French toast, and that Oreo is espresso martini flavour. Jesus. This cocktail is key lime pie. Oh my god. How have they got the. <laughs> You've got the lime flavour, but you've also got all the pastry flavour. Thank you for having us. Double chicken, please, have been awesome. Like, I've loved every second, every mouthful, every sip. And the mezcal, a of sour plum, shisha leaf. Let's go. Cheers, boys. That's nice. That's nice. To the double chicken, man, this is the best place. Oh, that was sick. Guys, it's such an experience in there. It's not just eating. Learning. What a crescendo to end on. Double chicken, please. Amazing. If you like the look of our Top Jaw and Stubble and Co collaboration travel bag, which has been serving us extremely well this entire trip, as you see, I've been wearing it pretty much the whole time. The link's in the description to get one for yourself. Big up to everybody who's helped us create these lists for these three films. They have been blinders. And a huge thanks to all our patrons. Again, if you want this list and the extended, extended shortlist for New York and all around the world, you can get access to our recommendations on the Step app via our Patreon. For our other New York films and all our future travel guides, make sure you subscribe to Top Jaw. Thanks guys. See you later. Oh, that was... That driver just like chopped up a bike.